Um, okay, hi, uh, I'm Matej Zaharia. I'm a sixth year PhD student here, finishing this year hopefully. Um, and I'll talk about making uh, big data analytics uh, interactive. This is a project, it's actually a set of projects in the AMP lab. Um, so big data is, is uh, you know, is a growing problem, uh, and really the reason for the problem is very simple. Uh, in a lot of fields, data volumes are going faster than computation speeds, faster than uh, even Moore's law. I'm not, not talking about just, you know, uh, single core frequencies or things like that. And in the sort of consumer space, this includes things like web applications, mobile applications. Lots of people are using them. They generate lots of interesting data. In the scientific space, you have Im instruments that are improving quickly, like the gene sequencing machines that they've talked about, uh, or things like telescopes and particle accelerators that generate a ton of data as well. So the only way we can, gen uh, we can actually analyze this data, since it's going so quickly, is using large clusters. But programming large clusters is hard. There are a lot of things uh, that can go wrong or that can slow down your application. Um, so First of all, um, you have to deal with the possibility of machines failing. The more machines you have, the more likely it is that that will happen while your application is running. Second, you have to be really careful in how you place the computation across the cluster uh, to maximize performance, place things near the data. And you also have to be careful to do load balancing. So, so dealing with this data is, is a difficult problem. Um, in the AMP lab, we've developed a system called Spark that aims to give you a very simple programming model. And the idea here is that you'll manipulate distributed data sets the same way you would local collections in a normal, you know, single machine program. Uh, so same thing you would do with a list, you can do with, say, a distributed list. And in particular, uh, the, the, uh, the abstraction you get is called resilient distributed data sets, or RDDs. These are distributed collections of records that are partitioned across your cluster, and they're resilient in that the system will automatically rebuild them on failure. And you get a wide array of parallel transformations you can do on these to do operations like mapping or filtering. Um, and another feature you get in Spark that you don't have in current um, uh, big data systems is the ability to cache these in memory which makes it possible to ask questions about them really quickly. So I'll show you what it looks like to actually use Spark to query uh, data. Um, you can use it interactively from a console, or you can just write a standalone program. And here I'm showing what you might type interactively to load a bunch of error messages from logs into memory and ask some questions. So we have a cluster here, a master, and some workers. Um, and this is the first thing we type. Uh, we'd say, okay, let's start with a text file in the Hadoop file system, HDFS, which is a distributed file system. Uh, then you can do transformations on it. So here we're doing filter uh, the, the words that start with error, the lines that start with error. So pull out only the error messages. Um, and next uh, you can do a map, split them by tabs, and pull out field number two, which is maybe the actual message. Uh, and this is all code you could type in interactively. And the final thing you might do is cache, uh, cache just these error messages in memory. Um, after that, you can ask queries about them. So for example, how many error messages are about Linux? And the system is going to automatically figure out where the data resides, um, send uh, tasks to the machines to process it. They'll each do their work and give you back results. Um, and they're also going to build up this cache of data you want it cached. Um, next time you ask a question, it's going to look at where data is in the cache, hit that again, um, and get back the results much faster. So how fast can this actually go? You know, is it actually interactive? So one of the demos we, we, we did is a full text search of Wikipedia. This is about 50 gigabytes of data on 20 machines. And using Spark, you can do just full text search in about half a second. If you started with on-disk data with existing big data tools, it would take about 20 seconds. Um, we also scale this up to a terabyte of data, and you can do full text search of, of that in five seconds. So this, this kind of uh, system really changes the types of questions you can ask about big data sets and the speed at which you can answer them. So Spark is an open source project. It's available in Java, uh, Scala, and Python. And we're fortunate to have a growing open source community. So we have a meetup in the San Francisco area with over 500 members. And in the past year, 14 companies have contributed code to Spark. And we're using Spark in the AMP lab to build a stack. Um, you know, it's, it's one component of a stack of next generation analytics tools, including large scale SQL and stream processing. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about it, but to find out more, come to our open house, fourth floor, Soda Hall this afternoon. <laughs>